happy person. This is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Virgo. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Virgo. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys today. Alright, so you f you're very unhappy at this point in time. You feel like nothing is happening for you the way you want it to. There is a lot that is being hidden from you by the Divine. The Divine does want to step in, but it's like you're always maneuvering over them. Because you're not taking a minute to really get right with yourself and get right with your situation. You're afraid to find out. You're f okay, so it's like you're deceiving yourself concerning a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. It's like you have a lot of love for this person. And you refuse to let them go even though you know you should. Yeah. Because you want a stable new beginning with this individual. But they walked away from you. They walked away from you and you can't figure out why. When you were giving so much of yourself to them. Yeah. You want a new beginning with this person. You want to take a risk with this person again. You want to take a leap of faith. But it's like this person isn't giving you that chance. Instead, every time you guys speak or meet up, there is always a constant fighting. This person doesn't seem to want to mend things with you. They just want to walk away from the connection and leave the past behind. But you are the one that is holding on to the connection. They are not emotionally fulfilled with you. They do not see a happily ever after with you. If you have kids by this person, this person doesn't see them being long term with you. Yeah, because they feel like you're not the person for them. You you are driven. You are very um, outgoing financially. You can be okay. But emotionally, it's like you're disconnected. Passionately, you're kind of iffy. So this person had to end things with you because you do not fulfill them the way that they would like. They want to be in a relationship with someone that could actually make them happy. And although it's not your job to do so, this person felt like, yeah. So they ghosted you. They left you behind. They walked away from you. They always made you feel like something was wrong with you though. Until you started to believe it yourself. You started to believe that you were the reason this relationship wasn't working. Yeah. But there was another woman here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. So while they were breaking you down, it was because they wanted to be with this individual. They made you feel less than so that they could walk away from this relationship and blame you for it. They never planned on fixing things with you. They just wanted you to feel guilty about the whole situation. Because this person always had someone else on the outside. And they had to try to control you and manipulate you the best way they could. And that was by breaking you down. Yeah. You have a choice to make here. You could choose to keep believing that you were the reason this relationship ended. Or you could choose to see this for what it is. This person had a choice between two and they didn't choose you. Actually, it was more than two people at a point in time. This person kept searching for that person that was right for them. This person had you as a part of a third party situation. Yeah, and this person was very cold and distant towards you. Even though they communicated with you, it was very harshly and poorly. And you kept wanting this person to come back because you kept wanting to do better. This person was beating you down because they didn't see themselves with you. Yeah. You're stuck on them, but they have moved on from you. They kept making you believe that you were the reason for the ending. 
But the truth is, they didn't want to build with you. They didn't see you as the person that they wanted their forever with. Yeah. This person is all about playing games. This person isn't about stability or long-term success in relationships. <coughs> Sorry. This person is about, yeah, they're searching for someone. Yeah. They're not ready to settle down or be a significant other to anyone. They're just playing the field right now. And every single time they want to walk away from someone, they make them feel like they are the fault. Yeah. This person is an emotional manipulator. This person makes you think that something is always wrong with you when it's actually them. They use some black magic to keep you hidden, stuck, and, and unwise to what they are doing. So the illusions that they, they, they put you in, they make you feel like you are the wrong one. It's not you, it's them. They are the one that keeps their options open and keep having several different people. And although you genuinely have feelings to this person and you love them, this person doesn't have genuine feelings for you. You feel like you're perfectly matched to this person, but that is not true. You may have similarities, but this person is definitely not your equal. So let things end and let go of this person. Find the strength in you to rebuild yourself. Because this person's game was to break you down, make you feel like you were less than, so that it would give them an excuse to do what it is they wanted. Yeah. They don't want a new beginning with you. Stop holding on to someone that you should be letting go of. This person is very toxic. Yep. The beginning that you want to have with this person is not going to happen. Because this person doesn't feel like they could really manipulate you the way they want to. You see through their BS. So it's harder for them to play games with you. Yeah. But you have a lot of sleepless nights because you keep wondering why this person is if they're coming back. No, they're not. This is not something that you should be holding on to. This is a very toxic cycle and the universe pushed this person out of your life for a reason. This situation needs to be let go of. Because although you may love this person, they don't share the same sentiments as you do. You are the one holding on to this connection. You want to have a full on commitment with them. They don't want it with you. You feel like you could build with this person and have a lot of finances. But as regards to love, no, they don't love you. So you may be looking at things from a materialistic point of view and that is the point of view that they are also looking at things at. They're using your emotions for them against you but they, don't, they aren't really interested. It's a one-sided thing here. They don't see you as their forever person. They don't see you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Yeah. That may be hard to hear and hard to believe but... You are the only one holding yourself back right now because this person has already let go of this connection. They've already let it go and moved on to someone else. Yeah. So while you're patiently waiting on them, they're not going to return. What is the advice? What is the advice for Virgo? What do they need to know? Yeah, it's time for you to have your own awakening happening. It's time for you to realize your worth and your value. And it's time for you to get connected to yourself. Let go of the toxicity. Let go of this person because they are not for you. Because you are this emperor, emperor's energy. And once you realize your worth and your value, you're going to realize that you can bring anything you want into your reality. But letting go of this person is the first step to that, um, that cycle closing off. You're going to be really happy once you do this. You feel right now like this person is the honest person that understands you and could make you happy. No. You will be recognized for your worth, your value. Someone will come along and will put you up on the pedestal that you desire. You may be very defensive right now, but you really do need to work on yourself. 
you need to work on yourself and let go of the illusion of having a marriage or a long-term commitment with this person. Because although you're guarded and you say something with your lips, your heart doesn't believe it. Your heart still wants this person. But this person is not for you. Whatever connection you had before, it's gone. This person has moved on and it is, yeah. Any love that happened between the both of you in the past is now gone. And this person doesn't want to come back to you or communicate with you or fix anything with you. So the fights are going to become more relentless. They are going to become worse every single day. And you would be fighting, but they aren't fighting to keep you. They are fighting for you to let go of them. So just let go of them. Let go of them. If there is no more love here between you and this person, you may feel it, but they don't. You know this, you know this for a while. You know you had to let go of this individual because they were no longer interested in having a relationship with you. But you still try to maintain a friendship with this person. But you have to let go all ties with this individual because they are not fighting to hold on to this relationship. Because you are not the person they see themselves with. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.